Pisces, welcome back to the channel. Monica Love here at The Love Messages. So today we're going to be doing your reading from February 28th to March 6th. Now this is going to be a general reading, so it may resonate with you, it may not. If it does resonate with you, there will be a link in the description box for the extended. All right, Pisces, so in this reading, I'm gonna be taking a look at past, present, and future for you. I'm going to clarify the cards and pull some advice. Wow, very important messages for you. Very important messages with the cards flying out. Okay. okay, so your challenge, Pisces, is the sun. And what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck is the hangman in reverse. Okay, so your challenge here, Pisces, has a lot to do with the sun energy. I'm really strongly getting with the sun here. There's something here in your life that, you know, it's been very difficult maybe for you to be happy. It's been very difficult for you to be positive about things. It's been very challenging, you know, in terms of something that you're going through. We're going to clarify the sun and get more information for you in a moment. Now, in the recent past, you have the page of swords, the temperance, and the moon. I feel like in the recent past, there was something here that was, you know, you were waiting on. It's like, I'm waiting. I'm waiting for this. I'm waiting for this. Uh, I do feel like there was something here in the recent past that was hidden from you and it didn't really make sense. You could have been doing a lot of research, a lot of digging, a lot of, you know, trying to make sense of something here in the recent past. It could have been a relationship that you're really close to. Could have also been something in your personal life that you were going through, some sort of awakening. We're going to find out more when we clarify um, in a moment. Now, in the present moment, you have the devil, you have the star and the eight of swords. So it looks like in the present moment for many of you, there's still something here that you're trying to release yourself from. Okay. It's been very difficult, very toxic in the present moment. I don't think you talk about this situation. It is something here that is very much hidden. I'm getting a very hidden kind of energy here. It's something that's not healthy. Okay. It's like toxic here. Um, and it's leaving you feeling restrained or feeling like isolated here. And spirit is saying you need to start planning for your future in the present moment. This is a very, very important key to you releasing yourself from this. Some of you are in bondage right now. There's like a bondage kind of energy, um, it's like, it's like a, like, I don't want to say it's a jail type energy, but it's like a very, it's like a bondage kind of energy. Okay. And we're going to clarify and see what this is. And there's something here about you planning for the future and needing to do it now. It's like something here is overdue. Okay. Um, we're going to find out more when we clarify about that in a moment. Now in the near future, you have the Knight of Cups, the Ten of Wands and the Four of Wands. In the near future, I see a very, very tough cycle that's finally coming to an end for you. One of the things I wanna mention Pisces astrologically, and I feel like this is important for you to know, there's gonna be a lot of activity around your sun, okay? And this is why the sun is your challenge because your sun sign is Pisces. And in the uh, month of March, moving into March and April, even though this is a weekly reading, um, you are gonna be experiencing a new moon, okay, on March 2nd, and this is very much tied into this reading. So there's gonna be a release, there's gonna be a release here, and you're gonna also be experiencing a lot of conjunctions with Jupiter and Neptune. So there's a lot of things that are coming to light. There's a lot of things that you're realizing that don't make sense, um, that, uh, excuse me, don't make sense anymore and you're going to be releasing that so this is why i'm saying there's going to be a really tough cycle that's coming to an end it's like a lot of you are going to say finally this is over i'm glad um and it's going to lead to you actually maybe being open to receiving love or offering love here so i see an opportunity for that and that release may actually lead to something very solid for you very solid um energy that may be coming in for you. So we're going to find out more about that in a moment. Now, what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck, you have the hangman, the three of cups, the world, you have the page of pentacles, the three of swords and the strength. OK, 
okay? So what you don't see coming for many of you is the fact that there is something here that caused you a lot of pain and you still haven't completely gotten over it yet. There's a lot of energy here of you finding it difficult to get over this situation. Some of you don't even want to participate in life or deal with people because of this ending that happened. I feel like now is the time to take action. Okay, this is what you don't see coming with the um, the hangman here in reverse the hangman in reverse is talking about taking action it's like spirit is saying you've had enough time to think about this you've had enough time to reminisce and kind of you know make sense of the situation now it's time for you to act and although something here isn't over um and it's been very difficult for you to accept the fact that the situation isn't over it is time to start making plans and that's why you have the star in the present moment because spirit is saying so now what are you going to do now what are you going to do now what's your plan moving forward you can only hold on to this pain Pisces for so long. Eventually you're going to have to start living again. And this is why your challenge is the sun because the sun is optimism. The sun is about being positive. The sun is about smiling. It is about living. The sun shines every day, even if there's clouds in the sky. And that's what spirit's saying you need to do. Okay. So your challenge is very much tied into what you don't see coming. The fact that you will have to take action um, when it comes to, you know, getting over something here that you've been holding on to for quite some time that eventually you're going to release. Okay. So this is what you don't see coming. Some of you have an earth sign. Okay. This is not for all of you side message. Some of you have an earth sign that's going to be coming back towards you. Capricorn Virgo Taurus. Okay. So let's get into your reading and let's see what's going on for you. All right, let's clarify your challenge. Okay, so the sun is clarified by the Ten of Pentacles, the Three of Swords, and the Five of Pentacles. What you don't realize, okay, and this is a very important message, hopefully you're listening, um, very important message here is your challenge that you're experiencing has a lot to do with your financial situation. If you've been finding it difficult to, you know, make money or money's been difficult for you, um, this is very much tied into something here that you're still holding on to energetically. And this is very spiritual, okay? That's why when the moon is actually conjunct Neptune or, or Jupiter in your sign, you're going to start realizing a lot. You're going to start realizing that you can weld the pain that you have within yourself, Pisces, and turn it into gold. You can actually turn it into a financial succession for yourself. But you also have to accept something here. Lately, the Three of Swords and the Five of Pentacles have been talking to me about acceptance, um, accepting our pain, accepting our trauma, not condemning ourselves because of what we go through, but actually empowering ourselves. And this is about trans, um, transmutation. The sun is a form of transmutation because when we plant seeds, what nurtures these seeds is the sun. The sun nurtures um, the growth process. And this is what you're going through. This is your biggest challenge. So it's all about how you look at the situation. You can either take advantage of an opportunity and transmute the pain that you have into something amazing and great, or you can continue to run away from this pain. It's up to you. Okay. So this is your challenge. This is what I'm seeing. Now let's talk about the recent past. Let's clarify the moon in the recent past. Some of you are dealing with a Pisces here in the past, or um, a Pisces, another Pi Pisces, a Gemini, or it could have been a um, Sagittarius here, and you were very suspicious of this person in the recent past. The moon is clarified by the uh, magician. You have the Six of Cups and the Six of Swords. I feel like in the recent past, a lot of you disconnected from somebody here that you had a lot of memories with. You felt like there was so much hidden from you and there was a lack of truth and clarity that you may have felt like it was time for you to release this person because there was a lot of questioning. Okay. Page of Swords here in the recent past, a lot of questioning like, you know, um, why is this happening? Why am I going through this? You try to make sense of something here. And when you started to realize that you couldn't make sense of it, you just ran away from it. You're like, I'm not going to. If I can't understand, understand, and overstand the situation, I might as well just release myself. And I think a lot of you started to realize the need to release yourself from the situation because you may have felt powerless in it. Okay, so this is what I'm seeing in the recent past. Now, in the present moment, there is something here that has been very, very difficult for you. It's been extremely difficult for you. Some of you feel isolated. 
you feel like you're in bondage you feel like something here is just not working out for you you feel stuck um and spirit is saying how can you take this experience that you're going through right now and change it that's why your son is that's why your challenge is a son because the son for me right now is talking about transmutation so my recommendation in the present moment if this is you and you are going through this Look up the word transmutation, okay? And what it means for you and how you can apply that to your life right now because you have the star. The star is all about your future, okay? It's all about, you know, what do I need to heal? What do I need to realize? What do I spiritually need to connect with within myself to transmute this bondage? Because whatever is happening to you in the present moment, Pisces, this is what you need to realize. It's just your emotions, okay? And I know you don't wanna hear that, but there's something here about you allowing the physical realm to determine your happiness. And that shouldn't be the case, especially as a, as a Pisces. You're one of the most spiritual signs, okay? So why is the devil here in the present moment? What is the important message about this situation that you find yourself in with the devil? So the devil is clarified by the ten of wands the nine of pentacles and the chariot you see in the present moment the reason why you're going through this situation that is i'm getting the word bondage okay go look up the word bondage and you'll really connect with what i'm trying to tell you there's something in your life where you feel stuck you feel i have to say this and i don't like to say this but it's like almost like you feel like a slave or you feel like you're just you're you're you're, you're in bondage here and spirit is saying you can release yourself from this. The reason why you're going through this right now, Pisces, is because it's time for you to become independent. It's time for you to stand on your own two feet. That's the only way you're going to be able to move forward from this. Okay? It's a big challenge for you right now. It's a huge challenge right now for you. But you are going to be able to move forward if this is something that you want. But you have to accept something here. And it hasn't been easy. Um, and it's, it's about you standing on your own two feet and not relying on someone. It's like you're connected to someone or something that you've been very reliant on and it's been difficult. And you've been seeing that it's been difficult, okay? So for many of you, you wanna release yourself. And the only way that I'm seeing in the present moment, there's two ways. The first way is doing healing and planning for the future. The second way is to stand up on your own two feet. And some of you are starting your own business or you need to start focusing more on your business. You need to start being proactive. That's the only way you're gonna be able to release yourself from this situation. What is the important message here for Pisces in the present moment? Moment when it comes to the eight of swords a very important message about feeling isolated or feeling like you're on your own it's like you can't really see the future or you can't make sense of something here the eight of swords is clarified by the page of cups you have the three of pentacles and the strength there's something here about you needing to be open to cooperating with others like-minded people okay some of you have to take action towards these like-minded people it's like you need to be able to take action you need to be able to you know go towards these people and you know make the effort because there's something here about you constantly trying to maybe do things on your own and it's one thing to do things on your own and be successful and move forward but eventually there may be a point in time where you decide to maybe try to work on things with this person there's also something here about forgiveness healing in the present moment it's a big big thing for you okay so there's something here pisces that i feel like you're working through in the present moment that you know is going to require you to one stand on your own two feet and then move forward and then find like-minded people in order to bring about something here that's important for the future for you okay now in the near future i do see a very tough cycle coming to an end for you finally it's been a lot it's been hard for you but it's finally coming to an end you've done basically what it's saying in the near near future is you've done the work or you will be doing the work now that you've watched this reading and you see what you need to work on um, tell me more about this cycle that is coming to an end for Pisces. What is this cycle all about that's coming to an end for Pisces? So the Ten of Wands is clarified by the Page of Swords. You have the Queen of Wands and the Five of Cups. There's something here about a relationship that, you know, may come to an end, okay? Or some sort of painful situation within this relationship may come to an end. Some of you are going to find something out here. I have to say it you're going to find some sort of truth out and the reason why i say you're going to find some sort of truth out is because when neptune is conjunct jupiter and that's happening in april but there's also some other activities with neptune that is going to be conjuncting the moon okay when the moon is transiting neptune and it keeps it it's constantly it's like you realize something you learn something and it may be something that leads to you saying you know what i'm done 
not doing this anymore. Some of you are dealing with another water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, a Leo, Sagittarius, or a Gemini, okay? And this person, you find something out within your relationship here. Tell me more about the Knight of Cups in the near future for Pisces. So the Knight of Cups is clarified by the, you have the Four of Cups to Justice and the Knight of Swords. So in the near future, I'm really strongly getting here that although you try to maybe offer love to this person or this person tries to offer love to you, there's a very strong energy of cutting someone off here or, you know, ending things. There may be a divorce for some of you. For others of you, someone here tries to work things out with you, but it's really going to be dependent on how forgiving you are to this person or how forgiving they are to you. Because there's something here that happens in the near future that you find out or this person finds out and it's like very unforgivable and that may be part of your challenge you know because the three of swords is here in your challenge which is usually significant of a third party situation or some sort of painful event that's happening and this has a lot to do with a relationship that you're already in or one that you will be entertaining in the near future okay tell me more about the four of wands for pisces what's the important message about their relationship in the near future some of you, like I said, are walking away. Yeah, judgment in reverse. Um, so I'm really strongly getting you're going to be walking away from a relationship. And it doesn't have to be a romantic one. It could be a relationship, you know, in your work or with a friend. There's something here about you constantly giving someone second chances. And in the near future, you may decide to look at the situation from a different perspective. And you may decide to walk away. And that's why you have the hangman here in reverse. Because it's like action is needed. You need to take action to release yourself from some sort of bondage. This, this coming week. So let's get some advice for you. Intense reading. Very intense reading. What is the advice? The advice here for you is the five of swords, the judgment, and the six of pentacles. So I'm really strongly getting for you, Pisces. Your biggest piece of advice moving forward is how to bring something in your life back to balance. It's not in balance right now, okay? You've been fighting, you've been competing, you've been trying to maybe get ahead of everybody else. And spirit is saying you need to also create balance in your life. Um, there's something here about equal give and take. You need to realize something here. You can't always take and not give, and you can't always be giving and not taking. So there needs to be a balance in some sort of relationship that you find yourself in. And there's a huge spiritual awakening. Do not run from your spiritual awakening. Do not run from the challenges that you're experiencing in your life. There's something here that you need to accept instead of always fighting it, instead of always trying to be in this energy of I'm right, I'm right. I'm, you know, it's like, there's something here you're fighting and spirit is saying, just accept something here. Accept it because that's going to be your process to be able to move on. That's going to be your process to be able to bring something back into balance in your life, okay? But it's going to start with you coming to what, you know, coming to this realizing, realization, excuse me, of what needs to be brought back in, into balance in your life in order to move forward, okay? So this is what I'm seeing for you, Pisces, intense reading. Um, hope you got something out of it. Thanks so much for tuning in and I'll see you on the next one.